both industrial and... In an effort to resuscitate the economy, government is engaging various stakeholders to sell its economic plans. At the 2024 Zambia Economic Growth Forum, the country's economic situation has been topical. President Haga in the Hichirema has used the forum to inform the country about the performance of the mining sector. Chingola, Kalulushi, Mufrila are not looking better despite producing so much copper over the years, over 100 years. This government wants to turn things around so that the communities can see value into their kitchen, into their sitting room as producers of copper. So is Northwestern province. So is almost now in our country, all the provinces of our country are able to engage in some mining. But what we want is legal mining, one, two, mine not only to extract, but to process, to beneficiate, to value, to value add. That again triggers our economic expansion agenda. President Hichirema also spelled out some of the economic measures government is implementing to deal with the prevailing situation. Macro stability is very important. We need stable, first we need inflation which is basically acceptable. We had set ourselves our targets, we know that. And I think there's a bit of some slippage there. Last year, by and large, we were below a single digit, just around nine. Now we're creeping over to 13%. We want to keep this under control. We want to keep interest rates attractive to business. Finance and National Planning Minister Tumbekom Sokotwani explained how confidence has been brought back in the economy. Those mining sectors that said they were going to leave, they've stayed and putting more money in our economy. And of course, others have been taking a look, making announcements of new findings, pledging more money to be put. The mining manufacturing sector who knew that one day Zambia would be exporting fertilizers? But we're exporting fertilizers today, ceramic tiles, and many other items. The International Monetary Fund and the International Growth Center helped organize the 2024 Economic Growth Forum. The potential yield uh, is something in the region of 12 tons per hectare, and current actual yields are only two tons. There's a huge potential for increasing uh, production, increasing yields in Zambia with benefits, of course, not only to the farmers themselves, uh, but to the economy more broadly and to exports and so forth. A plethora of reforms has been undertaken, including those aimed at improving transparency and tackling corruption in order to create a business-friendly environment. Now, going forward, the current uncertain global economic environment which is characterized by fragmentation of trade and investment and geopolitical tensions, underscores the importance of agile and adaptive policy making. We do know that if a farmer is taken care of properly, given proper seed, given proper fertilizer, and is able to follow basic agroeconomical uh, practices, there's no way that he can get less than five tons per hectare. Various panel discussions have been held at the two-day forum to analyze the Zambian economy and offer some solutions. Paul Shalala, ZNBC News in Osaka.